Were there no press to publicize the kind of rabid uh, hostility to change, I don't think the civil rights movement would have succeeded. This is the story of one of the Supreme Court's most important cases about freedom of the press and the First Amendment. It was very important to the framers of the Constitution that we have a free and vibrant press. But how do you weigh the importance of freedom of the press, of holding public officials accountable against the harm reporting might do to the reputation of public officials? What kind of speech does the First Amendment actually protect? And how do you keep the public informed about things their officials might not want it to know? Democracy doesn't work unless you have a population that is concerned with what that government is doing, especially in an age when government has so much power.